Written music for me is basically note reading. When you play an instrument, it's the pieces that you use. You see the notes, the rests, and all the symbols. Actually, it's the visual representation of the art. It helps me a lot understand music better in terms of concepts and stories behind the pieces. Do you know hieroglyphics? Or kahit sa Filipinos, yung alibata na nakasulat sa bamboo, they're preserving something. So hindi lang basta event. So pati yung heart nila, naka-etch doon. So similar with music, the emotions contained in the, within the music, the concepts, nandun doon siya. Pag sinulat mong ganun, a part of me is there forever. Sikat nyo yung technology music. You just click a button here. It can actually produce like this riff. Given with all these technologies, you don't actually need to to read and write music. Yun yung tingin nila. If you're not a professional mu musician, no, do you need to learn how to read music? Well, actually, it's not really a question. No, uh, it depends on the person. Gaano mo kagaling gusto ng gumaling. It gives me a, an edge to know a different skill set apart from just learning music by ear. It's like a painter. Ah, I don't want to use a pencil. I just want to use colors. What if gusto yung pencil? Sayang! Sayang siya. If you want to dig deeper into the world of music, you have to read and write and know the history behind it to know what you're really doing. Walang downside kasi uh, parang sinabi mo na I want to learn how to take a picture so makuha ko ng magandang camera and then learn these things. Hindi mo sabihing downside yun eh. Well, siguro ang, ang kapalit lang niya is the time. And the heart kailangan yung puso mo po. When I started learning guitar, I was probably like 11 years old. I played chords. I, I didn't know how to read notes yet. All of our songs were bad numbers. So by the time I got the pieces, uh, I got surprised because I didn't know it was this hard to read. All those small dots and all those <laughs> little, you know, stems. At first try going to UP, I didn't pass because of that sight reading and note reading. I stopped school for one year just to prepare for it. I started reading notes the first position, like Dora Mika also said here. Oh, this is In the master queen skill of note reading, I had this class in. In UP, we were given like um, pieces on the spot. Tong tawa ako kasi I can read easily the, the pieces that we're given. I have had so many challenges uh, as a musician, especially uh, when I was starting, when I was still younger. I didn't have a formal teacher and a formal music lesson because we were in the province. When I began studying music notation, it felt like I was reading through symbols, uh, pretty unfamiliar ones. I become easily frustrated and impatient with myself. But uh, eventually, um, I got used to it. I got the hang of it. I started to read faster. Comparing my level of musicianship when I started to where I am now, I believe I improved a lot. The highest level is non-existent. From here as a beginner to the level of my ambition, probably I'm just here. <laughs> okay, what gave me the desire to learn and read music? Well, it starts with listening. Every time I hear this certain piece or pieces that I love, nando dun yung desire for me to play it again. If I would just listen to it, I won't be able to play it because the music is really complex. So what I did, uh, I started to self-study note reading. So I start early in the morning and then I eat at lunch and then play again in the afternoon and then eat dinner and then play again. <laughs> there are times where I sleep together with my instrument, whether it's a guitar or a piano. I'm looking forward for the following day because it's already too late to play noise. <laughs> While playing certain pieces na natutugtug ko na, wow, kaya ko na siyang tugtugin after some time. Machachaga ako. Kung ito machachaga ako, machachaga ako kahit ano. May mga uh, bagay akong hindi aalisin, tsaka aalisin when I was a beginner. But there are things na hindi ko aalisin, like in difficulty. Because the difficulty will turn any coal into diamonds.
at the start, you'll be very frustrated, discouraged. But because you love to do it and you're committed to do it, in time it will come. So you look forward for the music that you love. Isipin mo buote kung ano yung bass. You're really uh, enticed with the bass of boom. Yung bawat ganon na music or yung melody ng violin na pagagina niya high notes parang nasa heaven ka. Yun yun yung habulin mo. And then from there, looking there. Uh, Yung hirap, sige, willing akong tawirin. Willing akong gawin to para makuha ko yun. Willing akong gawin to, marinig ko lang yun. Marinig ko lang yung, yung feeling na pumasok sa tenga ko, tapos pumasok sa utak ko, tapos parang gusto mong, gusto mong tumalon. If you really want to achieve something, if you wanna be better or good at something, you have to be matyaga. I believe in this saying, talo ng magaling ang matalino, talo ng matyaga ang magaling.